Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Crypto.com coin using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the Crypto.com coin that you are mining here in 2025. Also, I want to take a quick second to mention a change here on the channel. Um, due to some changes here on YouTube, I will be inserting a quick one to two second break throughout the YouTube uh, video here uh, due to some advertising changes. So I do have a full length video linked below in the description if you're interested to learn more, but I do appreciate your understanding with that change. So before we dive into the video, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference, if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see here, we have a slight down day in crypto. Total market cap is sitting around $2.71 trillion, which is just under 1% down. Um, of course, Usually if the market's down, we're going to see that across the board here in at least the top 10, but uh, we do have a few outliers. Ethereum, about a half a percent up today, uh, and then further down here in the number 10 spot, Tron up about 8.71%, which is really nice to see if you are a holder of Tron. Now, I do want to continue scrolling down a little bit here um, till we find the crypto.com coin, which is what we're going to be talking about today. And I may have passed it here in the uh, in the list, so it might just be easier to search for it because I know uh, the last time I looked for it here, it was a little bit higher. So let me crypto.com or there you they call it C R O. That's what it is. Um, let me see. Uh, what is the symbol for this coin? <laughs> yeah, see, it's C R O. I thought it was. Uh, CRO. Well, anyways, we can go ahead and dive into the tutorial here. Um, but basically, what we're going to be doing is using Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with what Unminable is, basically, it's a site that, as it says in the name, allows you to mine coins that are not traditionally mineable or coins like Bitcoin that are traditionally mineable but require very expensive ASIC hardware. So the way they do this is you actually pick an algorithm and a coin that are profitable to mine using GPU or CPU, and then you mine those and they take care of the conversion on the back end and pay you directly out. Now this is a little bit better than just purchasing the coins um, for a couple reasons, with the number one reason being if you're in an area where crypto trades are taxed, uh, this avoids the trade and pays you out straight in the coin you're interested in. So. That's why I like to uh, feature this site as it does have a lot of benefits, even though there are more efficient ways to get coins in some cases. So scrolling down, what you're going to do first is come over to unminable.com or click the link in the description below. If you use that link, it's going to save you 25% on your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. But if you scroll down, select get started with our guided setup. There's two options here, basic and advanced. I always recommend going with basic as this is good enough for 99% of users. Now I'm going to be going down the GPU mining path here, but if you are following along with a Windows based CPU or you want to mine with a Mac OS based computer, go ahead and choose that CPU option. Now. I'm going to be selecting uh, the Kapow algorithm, which is Ravencoin based, and uh, that's what I'm going to be using to mine. But what I would recommend is if you don't know what's best and most profitable for your specific hardware, go over to whattomine.com, enter in the hardware that you have, and it should tell you the best and most profitable algorithm to use for your computer. Then what you're going to do is select the coin that you want to get paid out in, which of course we're going with crypto.com, but feel free to choose whatever you are most interested in. The tutorial is essentially the same for all of these coins, with the exception of the address that you enter in. Now I do like to say please double and triple check that you got this address entered in correctly because if this is entered in wrong, you will still be able to mine. Everything will look exactly the same um, until you go to get paid out. 
and then unfortunately you just simply won't get paid out. So I do always like to say, please double and triple check this address. I'd hate to see you mine for a while and then not end up getting paid. And the final step before downloading all the files and getting started is the referral code. Now, if you use the link in the description, you'll notice my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated just like you saw here on the screen. Um, if you went straight to unminable.com and still want to get that 25% discount, the code is Bitcoin tips with a capital B and a capital T. So here on Unminable, there's a 1% pool mining fee, which basically means that for every 100 CRO coins that you mine, you're going to pay one of those to Unminable. It doesn't matter if you do that in a day or in a year. It doesn't matter if the coin is a few pennies or $100. You're always going to pay that one coin. By using this code, you actually reduce that from 1% down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 0.25 of every coin that you would have given per 100 that you're mining, allowing you to build your holdings a little bit faster. So feel free to use that code or continue without it. Now, to get started, you do have to download the minor and minor files. I always recommend going with Gminer as it supports both major GPU manufacturers and it's the one that I personally use. Um, but all of these miners are essentially the same process and they all work really well. But what you're going to do is go ahead and select download miner files. This will take you to the GitHub where you just download this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. If you miss the extraction step, you're going to get a bunch of errors right away when you go to start the miner. So if that's something that's happening on your end, make sure you didn't miss the extraction step as that's a common error to get if you do miss that step. Then what you're going to do is come back over here to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file button. You'll notice that Chrome called this out and said, hey, we can't actually verify this file. Are you sure you want to download it? You will have to select this warning and say download unverified file. Now, if this is something you are not okay with doing, simply select delete from history and move on. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this and it is something that you will just have to accept if you do want to start mining. I can say I've personally been using Unminable as well as all of these files for five plus years on countless number of computers uh, that I've had throughout the years and I've never had an issue with any single one of them, but there is that risk there as well. So if you're okay with that, what you'll do is download that and then all you have to do is drag and drop that file into the folder with all of the other files that you just extracted. So as you can see, I have my unminable CRO kapow gminer.bat file. And at this point, you are ready to get started mining. And to do that, all you have to do is double click this .bat file, and you will notice another pop-up has come up. This one says Windows has protected your PC. You will have to save more info, which will unlock that run anyway button, and you'll have to to select that. Again, if this is something you're not comfortable doing, simply select don't run, delete the files, and unfortunately you will have to move on to something else in crypto. But if this is something you're okay with, good news is you'll only get this pop-up the very first time you run the file, but you can go ahead and say run anyway. And just like that, in about eight minutes, we are up and running mining CRO coin using my RTX 3070 using Unminable. So it is really that quick, that easy, even with a little bit of coin market cap, we were still able to do this in under 10 minutes. So just a few final things about mining with Unminable. When you get this started, if your window looks similar to mine, blue, yellow, green text, no red errors, you should be up and running. You'll start to see stats on the website within 15 to 30 minutes. Um, that's completely normal, but if you don't see any stats for longer than an hour, I would double check this window, make sure there are no errors, and maybe double check the address that you used, both when you pasted it in in the website and when you went under the addresses tab. And when you're ready to be done mining, just go ahead and find this window and hit the red X. That will close out the CMD window and you are done mining. So you may be wondering why am I telling you how to close a window? That should hopefully be the easiest part. Well, with Unminable, if you've been mining for a decent period of time, you will actually continue seeing stats and even payments here on Unminable into your balance, even if that miner has stopped. And I've seen the question before of, hey, I stopped this miner, I closed the window, but I'm still getting paid. Is it mining in the background? As long as that CMD window is closed, you can know that there is no mining taking place. It is just part of the way that crypto mining works. And I wouldn't be too upset about it because you're still getting paid and you're not actually having to mine. But I have personally seen it 
where I stopped a miner, turned off the computer, and unplugged it from the wall, and the next morning I was still getting paid. There was no way this miner could have been running as it wasn't even plugged in. So definitely a weird thing, but I do like to mention it. So with that being said, that is all I've got today for mining with Unminable. If you do run into any issues, please leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you have any questions or comments or suggestions that you'd like to see here on the channel, again, please leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips. It really does help out the channel and allow us to provide these videos here for free on YouTube for you. And if you're looking to support the channel a little further, we do also have those channel memberships and super thanks which of course any support in that area is greatly greatly appreciated so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in my next video bye